You know that whole Christianity thing, y'all going, what you getting up 7.30 in the morning to go to church? That whole Christianity thing is a crutch, and it's for weak people. Testing your identity. I thank God because, you know, I've come into the marvelous light, and if any man be in Christ, he's a new creature. Old things are passed away. Oh, no, you're not. You're an addict, and all you ever going to be is an addict. This is your family. These are your homies. These are the people that you say that you love. And, 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 and watch this. Here, here's the one. If none of that works, I'm going to give you the one that, 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 they, that they, the go-to one. Oh, you so heavily good. So heavily bad, you ain't no earthly good. And, and, and who says that? It's usually the people that say that who, who don't want to obey Christ. So they try to get you off track by saying that to make you do what? Question your walk. Give them six months. Give them a year. That stuff going to wear off. Well, it's been a mighty long time that I've been walking with Jesus. And it's like yesterday. The fire is still burning. So, so the devil comes to test your identity. And he says all these things to you. But the Bible says, the Bible gives us an exhaustive list of affirmations that God has given us. Some of the affirmations are, you have been predestined by God to obtain an inheritance. The Bible says that you are a friend with Jesus. The Bible says that you have been placed in heavenly places with Jesus Christ. And please understand that the Bible says that you are the apple of God's eye. What, what, what does that mean? What does that mean? That simply means if you are the apple of God's eye, no matter what you've done, no matter where you've been, no matter what has happened in your life, if you are at the link, 68,500 is the capacity. And you're there and you're dejected and you're down and you might be contemplating suicide. You might be on your last shot and you're hiding somewhere in the back seat. Do you understand, excuse me, man of God, that God will climb over everybody just to get to you? Do you not understand that you are the apple of God's eye? 